In the previous video, I mentioned laissez-faire once again. So how does laissez-faire uh, translate in the political uh, realm of the United States? Well, when Republicans preach laissez-faire, they also mean protective tariff. Republicans were willing to allow the government to help to some extent, such as a protective tariff, which helped American manufacturers. But Democrats were consistently laissez-faire. They did not want government to help in any way. The best example of this during the Gilded Age is the Texas Seed Bill veto. Farmers in Texas were suffering from a drought, and they wanted some sort of assistance from the federal government. Congress responds with the Texas Seed Bill, which would have given $10,000 to farmers. It passes Congress, but it goes to Grover Cleveland's desk, who vetoes it. Remember, Grover Cleveland is a Democrat. He sent in a veto message. He said, yes, this would help Texas farmers. But, and I quote, I do not believe that the power of the federal government ought to extend, be extended to the relief of individual suffering. The lesson should be constantly enforced. That though, though people support the government, the government should not support the people. Now, Cleveland is not a cruel guy. Uh, he's only sticking to his philosophy. What's the theory behind this reasoning? He's basically saying that people are going to get lazy if the federal government helps. Don't believe me? Here's what Cleveland said. Federal need in such cases encourages the expectation of paternal care on the part of the government and weakens the strengthness of our national character. Now this, of course, is a theory that is argued till this day. So what, where did the support for these people have to come from? Well, private charity. Uh, Cleveland says, the friendliness and charity of our countrymen can always be relied upon to relieve their fellow citizens' misfortune. This is perfect Gilded Age political philosophy. Some people, like John Rockefeller, love it. It always depends on where you are in the game. Now, the people did not succeed under, under laissez-faire, and they began to get sick of it. And the people that, do, that succeeded the least were going to be farmers. And that will be the next subject of our next video.